Hi, good morning. This is Master Alexander, just uh, wishing you a new start. Uh, we're starting a new week again, and well, everything is, um, you know, falling into place. Uh, we're, we're having a martial arts demo on Friday uh, uh, the 20th of uh, this month, October the 20th. We have a demo uh, in the city of Tamarack and in the rec center. Also, we have another demo with the Chamber of Commerce of also the city of cameras i think it's the following saturday uh, saturday the 21st um so i'll keep you posted on the dates and the specific uh you know details on, on everything and uh well one of the questions that i always get is uh what is the most in, uh, is important thing in martial arts and and it, it's a tricky question because it all depends it's so uh subject to to the person that is asking i mean what do you find? Uh, what what is it? What is it that, that you find more most uh, important? I mean, do you want to do martial arts because of the uh, philosophical aspect? Do you want to do martial arts because of the self defense aspect? Do you want to do it because of the uh, health benefits aspect? So, uh, from whether that's what I think that um, you know, I would like to uh, uh, address this 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 question. So. <clears throat> if I if I would ask as somebody asked me from the uh, uh, let's say self defense aspect, I mean to me, uh, regardless of whatever martial arts you practice, is that you have to, you you cannot defend yourself nor attack offense or defense if you don't have a balance. And when I say balance, is that you must have. <laughs> unfortunately, we're 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 subject to gravity, and you must have a a a position or a stance. Or, or uh, a base in which you can actually hit, so you can actually make impact or grapple, and also uh, not to be able to, uh, to be able to avoid or be mobile, not not totally fixed, like rooted on the ground. So, um, to me, at least from this aspect, is is like um, your balance. Uh, without balance, you can hit. Without balance, you will be hit. So a balance is one of the, uh, from the uh, martial arts aspect. Uh, now, if we talk about the uh, philosophical aspect of the martial arts, uh, martial arts should take you to a place of serenity, uh, should take you to a place of, of inner growth. It should take you to a place of, uh, again, a different kind of balance, but it's, also, it's a mental balance. And, um, and also, uh, you know, trying to um see whether if if this philosophical aspect it's it's either uh aspect of war or it's an aspect of peace again and there's a, a everything there's a sort of like a yin and yang on everything on all these things so again you have to make a balance uh when is martial arts uh ideal for uh walking away or or standing your ground so again, it's something that again it's subject to to the individual, um, and and the other one, of course, the the physical aspect. Um, uh, there are many martial arts that I can think of, and of course, probably the first one would be Tai Chi. Um, but anything that invo involves uh, the breathing aspect, and when I say the breathing aspect, is that uh, we all need uh, a, a balance on our breathing, and our breathing actually alleviates a lot of the uh, chronic uh, problems that we have of, of, of living our day to day life. One is, of course, stress. Uh, breathing allows you to to lower your uh, your blood pressure, calm you down. It has uh, a great amount of of, of uh, effects or uh, good effects or let's side effects or yeah uh, that have to do with calming yourself, uh, dealing with stress, alleviating uh, your perspective. Uh, you know, and and of course, a lot of those things come with time. Uh, <clears throat> when when one mature as a human being, and of course when you mature in martial arts, you know you 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 tend to pause a little bit and not be so um, reactive. And I say this is that when you know when we're young, uh, our our approach, or at least my approach uh, to martial arts, was totally different. I mean, I wanted to be I wanted to be uh, the best. I wanted to learn more, learn more. I want to be faster. I want to be I wanted to hit harder. And and now of course, <clears throat> excuse me. I realize that uh, 
none of that really matters. None of that really matters. It, it, it just, uh, everything, your attention to, to what you think is important changes. And it changes with time. It changes as you age. It changes as you mature. So, again, whether, again, you're looking to martial arts as from a physical aspect or a physiolog- of, um, physiological uh, aspect, uh, philosophical aspect, excuse me. And, and, and of course, um, the, the, the self-defense aspect uh, you have to ask yourself, um, <clears throat> I need to make sure that I have a balance on all the things that I have. So this is my message for this morning. Uh, enjoy your week. We're starting this week. Today is, um, oh my God, I didn't fix my, my, uh, my, my time with my, well, long story short is that, uh, um, we're, we're starting a, a new month. Um, and, uh, we're in the month of October and hopefully I will, talk to you soon. Thank you. Train hard, uh, train well, train smartly, and have a good day. This is Master Alexander, and have a good day.